guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to answer the most common pen pal questions that I get asked daily. So if you're currently looking for a pen pal, I've opened my comment section up for finding a new pen pal here on YouTube. All you need to do is let people know you're looking for a pen pal in the comments. Include things like your interests, hobbies, where you're from, so your country, and add your preferences, so let them know if you're looking for a um, international, national, and how many people you are looking for. Um, so once you do this, also just put a contact, um, so either a social media account or an email address. Please don't put down your personal home address or a mobile number just for privacy reasons. And if you're under 18, please get permission from your parents or a guardian. So I've added a template in my description box. So you can go check this out, copy and paste it and use this as a guideline if you want to participate. So good luck. I hope you find someone to pen pal with. Make sure you do check their social media account if they've added. Make sure they're legitimate. Um, or when you're emailing them, just make sure that you ask particular questions in order to know that you understand who the person is and um, yeah, who, who they are and just make sure that, that you're being safe basically. So stay safe and yeah, good luck to find someone. The letters that I'm making today are going out to my patrons over on Patreon. So a huge thank you to everyone is, who is supporting me on Patreon. I really do appreciate everyone who's joining in on our monthly art projects and Zoom catch-ups over there. And yeah, I really enjoyed everyone's participation in our little crafty community. So now let's jump into the Q&A. I actually posted on my Instagram asking you guys for questions. And the number one question that I get asked is how to find pen pals. Now, as I said, I've opened up the comment section, so hopefully you can find someone here on YouTube. But another great way is Instagram. There is a hashtag going around called pen pals wanted. Um, so I've actually already made a pen pal guide. I think it's called beginner's guide to pen pals. So I will also link that video in the description box if you want to go and watch that video again. Um, another place is Swapbot. This is where you can do swaps with people. There's also a website called Post Crossing, Global Pen Friends. Um, and yeah, over on my Patreon, I'm also connecting people and doing little swaps over there. So I'll have these websites in the description box. There are plenty of places online to find someone. Um, but I would say go to your own social networks. Um, I send letters to my grandmother, um, to my nieces and nephews. I've sent letters to my sisters in the past and also friends that moved away. So it is just a really great way to stay connected. Another question that I get asked is, I don't have any stationery, how do I begin? How do I find my style and not spend a fortune on buying lots of stationery? So if you're getting started, you don't need to go out and buy a lot of stationery, honestly. But it wasn't until I actually started sending swaps on Swapbot that I actually started including items in the pen pal letters. So I started actually just starting by decorating mail and I only had my Frankie magazines at this time. I bought a whole bunch at the op shop or thrift store, as some of you know it as. Um, and I basically just ripped out all of the images that I loved using. Um, and yeah, I cut out all of these from the magazines and I started just collaging. So all I did was started collaging on top of envelopes and writing letters. And it wasn't until later on that I actually started including things like stickers and washi tape samples. Um, but really all you need to do to get started is just pens, markers, scissors, glue, or double-sided tape, and then some pretty papers. And then if you wanna start adding things like stickers, um, that's when you can start buying things to start decorating your mail art or sending things to other people. But you really don't need to spend a fortune to send letters. Just start by writing letters to begin with and then see where your style leads. A lot of people I know like to have a more simplistic style. So it might be that you're a person who likes to illustrate or watercolor. Um, not everyone collages and does really big flip books and does a lot in their mail. Um, so just see where your style leads you to. 
Now, in order to go back on the question about budgeting and finding places, I've actually done a lot of videos where I've basically I've done challenges here on YouTube. So zero dollar budget challenges. So I do have a playlist now called challenges. We can go check them out for more ideas. But I love discount stores here in Australia. We pretty much have a discount store in nearly every town. So they're usually called the dollar store, um, reject shops, discount stores, variety store. And usually they've got a really big craft aisle. Now, most of the time, like anytime I see one of these, I go straight to the craft aisle and see what's down there because there's lots of different things that you can find, especially for pen paling, sending letters off to people. And it's usually quite cheap. So I get most of my double-sided tape there. You may even find some stamps or pretty papers or stickers and it's really great because most of the things are just one or two dollars. Um, so I definitely say check out your discount stores before going into large stationery stores because um, that's usually the cheapest way, especially here in Australia. We've got lots of discount stores around. Um, yeah, so either that, pick up some magazines and yeah, it, it doesn't have to be expensive. Another thing, sorry, another common question that people ask me is what do I add along with the letter? Now, the simple answer is you don't need to add anything. I don't talk about this enough on my channel, but I do write my letter first and then I will include goodies later. I just don't show the letter on camera just for privacy reasons. I don't want to be showing what I'm sending, like I'm saying to someone else, especially if I'm talking to them about something that they probably don't want me to share here online. Um, so when you first start out, as I said, it's funner just to start writing the letter first and then seeing what, what they may like. I know that a few pen pals I had um, internationally, they would send me things that were sentimental and meaningful for them. So it may be like a postcard of their town or if they found out I like something, they might send me something that I liked. It's not always that you have to gift things to people. Um, usually it's once you start learning about that person, it's just a nice way to give that extra thing. But I would definitely say you don't ever need to include things, but common things that people do include is things like postcards or tea or stickers, um, just because people do like sharing those things from their collection. But if you imagine it, you are trying to build a relationship with this person and build that friendship. So if you imagine it as if someone asks you to go to a coffee shop, you wouldn't just arrive at the coffee shop with a bag of goodies and say, hi, here's the goodies. And I've got washi samples for you. Thank you. Bye. Because then you haven't learned anything about that person. You don't know anything about where they're from, what their hobbies are, what their likes are. You literally have no idea anything about them. You've literally just given them a gift and then walked away. So when you are writing the letter, think about what you would do if you were sitting down at a cafe, what kind of things you would usually talk about, what kind of interests would come up. I know it's not a back and forth conversation, it is a letter, but the best letters I've ever had is when someone's told me a story um, and they've told me a little bit about this themselves. So I really think write the letter first, build the relationship, and then if you wanna gift things later, that's fantastic. Um, so I hope that answered that question. So another question I get a lot is, oh, actually someone asked me, um, what is my favorite pen pass story? Now I, when I was on Swapbot, I found someone who was amazing at letter writing and they used to just give me a really rich description of their everyday life. So someone just told me about their weekend once and it was really nice to hear little intricate details that they added about their love of plants and their love of cats. And they gave me a really good overview of their little cottage that they were living in in the country. And they also added things like their hobbies, but it really felt like I was getting to know this person really well because they were describing things in such description um, that made me feel like I was there. So I could really picture the, the house and 
they were describing things around their house in a way that it was it was like I was reading a book. So I really loved that they shared things in such detail and it was written like they had a passion for what they were talking about, if that makes sense. So yeah, if you do like writing letters, try to be as descriptive as possible. It really does make a difference when someone gets a letter and reads all about your life and I guess to understand, um, yeah, a bit more about you. So another question that I had on my Instagram was, how did you get into pen paling? Now, I the main thing that really got me into pen paling was when I was in high school, um, a lot of my friends moved away. So I wrote letters to some friends that had moved away from my town. Um, these were just really plain, so there were no gifts at all. It was literally just an envelope, a piece of paper and a pen. We weren't doing anything fancy or colourful or we weren't adding anything in. We were just catching up on what the other person was up to and then would start just writing, like doodling at the bottom. So putting some illustrations in and we were talking about our friends and what we've been up to. There wasn't really, I wasn't really on Facebook that much at this time. It was early high school. I didn't have an Instagram. I had to pay for my own phone credit. The texts weren't unlimited, so it was difficult to contact over the internet. Um, other than, I think it was MSN that was available, but we weren't on at the same time, so it was nice. It was really nice just to receive that letter, and you do put a lot more into a letter than you would over a text message anyway. So nobody really did it around this time, so it was really special. And yeah, I really hope I kept those letters. That was a friend that she used to tell me a lot in those letters, and I really want to read back over those again, actually. Um, where did I make my first pen pal? So my first pen pal wasn't actually in high school. I actually remember in primary school, and I don't know if you can consider this a pen pal, but I'll tell you anyway, it was letter writing. So in primary school, one of my friends, her name was Lucy, she brought in like this A5 classic, like exercise books, line pages, around 200 pages in this book. And she said that she wanted to write a story. So she said, let's fill up this book, we'll write it, and then the other person can read it and write back. And basically we were just going to do it until the whole book was filled up. So we weren't even sending letters and there wasn't any envelopes or stamps. We had this one book and we'd just exchange it. So I would bring it up home. I would write something, give it back to her the next day. She would bring it home and write something. It was probably mainly all filled with like things about our friends and classmates and typical primary school things. But I think that's the first time I ever literally wrote something and exchanged it with someone if that counts, but it was so much fun. Um, she might still have the book. I'm pretty sure she actually typed some of it out at one point, but who knows, years have passed. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I've been writing letters for years. If there's any other questions that you guys have, please let, let me know. Um, I do have a whole playlist on pen paling and, and snail mail, so you can go check out those videos. And if you wanna see more, crafty videos please subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye